I keep hearing this question, why are drums so hard to get off? Well, I'll show you. This ridge right here wears in, and then when there's tension on the brake shoes, they won't come off. And this example is actually not as bad as it normally is. In this video, I'll show you how to remove this ridge so you can get your drums off easy next time. When this ridge gets really deep, it's almost impossible to get these drums off. I'll show you a technique for getting drums off that a lot of people don't know, but it's really simple. In the actual drum are threads. And in this case, you can put a nine millimeter bolt and it pushes against the hub and it removes it without any problem at all. Periodically, I take a tap and I just run it through these so they're nice and clean. So when I need to use them, they're in perfect condition. I've tried a lot of methods to get this ridge off of these drums. Using this open face grinding disc, I rotate it very slowly and just knock off the ridge. You can see here just the dirt and the dust and the rust coming off and I can feel it as I go around the circle. So I just do this a couple times and this makes all the difference in the world when it comes time to take these drums off your car. Look how clean it is now. This will be no trouble getting them off now. This is one of those techniques I wish I knew years ago. This really makes life easy when it comes to taking these things off later. Years ago, whenever I had a hard time getting these things off, I thought it was because they were rusted on, not because of this ridge that was causing them to stick to the car. Another technique that I wish I knew is in the backer plate, there's this piece of rubber, and when you pull it out, you can actually get a screwdriver in there. You could take this screwdriver and actually retract the brake shoes. Boy, I wish I knew this before. So now that's all you ever wanted to know about how to get these drums off your car. So we'll get this thing cleaned up and get it back onto the car. The next time you have to take this drum off, chances are you won't have any trouble at all. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.